Welcome back. We're approaching the foot of Foxton Locks on Sunday the 5th of May 2019. It's round midday and it's looking busy. Paul is on bridge and lock duty. He is already on the towpath and making his way ahead. Not knowing what I needed to do or where I needed to go, I decide I will hold position in the middle of everything until I'm told exactly where to go. The lovely Liz from the CRT spots me and I wave. She starts to talk to me. I give a friendly wave. I can't really hear what she's saying. I look for Paul, who has gone to sign us in with the volunteer lock keepers for our passage back up Foxton Locks. It's very busy. There are lots of boats moored up around the place. The pub gardens have lots of people in them. The trip boat is moored up and there's me, slap bang, in the middle of it all. I don't like this at all. I'm sat here right in the way of anything that's coming down and out of the locks. If people are coming around the corner, uh, getting a bit worried. I haven't seen Paul for a little bit. He's not come back. Right, what do I do? Yeah, a phone call. Hello. We're what? Heard. Third in the queue to go up and wait to be called. Uh, right, well, I need to get out of the way then, don't I? So where are we going to wait to be called then? What? Under the bridge. The, the bridge behind me. You want me to reverse under the bridge? You're serious. You want me to reverse the boat through the bridge hole? Yeah, I realise I can't wait here and I need to get out of the way. No, no, I can't see anywhere else where I think we can moor whilst we wait. No, you're right. That's the only place. Yeah, okay. I've never done this before. Yeah, I know. Okay. Yeah, right. Yeah, meet me the other side of the bridge then. Okay. Oh, here we go. And that, dear viewer, is how, for the first time in my life, I had to reverse a narrowboat through a bridge hole. Now, don't get me wrong, I've reversed the boat along the canal a few times. I mean, come on, you'd never get anywhere without doing that. But under a bridge, with other boats moored up that I'll have to avoid, and with so many gongoozlers watching. Oh well, they say that life is full of first times. Let's just hope that this first time is a good experience. I get the blunt end of the boat pointing in the rough direction I want it to go, then pop her into reverse. Now, if you followed other boat tubers or had a holiday boat yourself, you'll know the saying, no gear, no steer. Well, that's only really true for forward motion. When you reverse an arrowboat, there is very limited steering. The flow of water created from the propeller washes under the boat, rather than over the bit of the tiller in the water. So it's a game of a little bit of backward motion, then a quick burst of forward and tiller action to correct your trajectory before putting it back into reverse to keep your momentum up. When we were looking at buying a boat, we sat down and worked out what items we wanted to have on it. Some we considered were more important than others, however we were willing to compromise if we found a boat we really liked. A bow thruster was one item we were specifically looking for. There have been a few moments on our 66 foot long hire boats, where having a bow thruster would have just made life that little bit more easier. Using the bow thruster when reversing to correct the boat's sideways drift does make reversing a lot easier. A few minor thrusts were made during the filming of this vlog. As I reverse past a waiting boater, he tells me that using a bow thruster is cheating. 
I agree, it is cheating. But hey, if you've got it, might as well use it. Let us know what you think, either in the comments below or on the poll that's attached to this vlog. Balefroster or just tiller action? Please don't be alarmed by the horn sound just then. I'm not about to hit an oncoming boat, honest. It was me, leaning on the horn push button on the control panel. I've got this really annoying habit of doing that. You'll notice this in future vlogs. I can only apologise. We're about to reverse onto Bridge 62 on the Grand Union Canal, which is known locally as the Rainbow Bridge. Notice how narrow it's getting as we gracefully glide backwards up the canal. Now in a previous vlog I mentioned about the coloured light that's under this bridge and you should see this on the right hand side of your screen in a few moments. There it is, it's currently green in colour. If you watch it closely as we reverse back, it should start to change. Just under the bridge, we moor up and wait to be cooled. Paul is on the towpath giving direction and saying where we should moor up. Just about here. We're just leaving enough room for the trip boat and other boaters to get past us. There are a few boats coming down the flight, so we could be here for a little while. Liz from the CRT comes and has a chat with us. If you recall, in our previous vlog, We'd spoken to Liz about signing up as friends of the CRT. We'll add the link in the description below. Mark fetches his wallet and we sign up as friends. It's lunchtime, so we prepare and eat a ploughman's lunch. As it's a bank holiday weekend, we even treat ourselves to a small beer shandy. Pure luxury, this canal life. We sit, wait and relax. Mark got bored and wandered around and over the rainbow bridge. There's some footage of this coming up. We're going to end with a few of those 10 second video clips everyone loves. Thanks for watching. We hope you've enjoyed what you've seen. Feel free to subscribe anytime. Don't forget to ding the bell to be notified when we next post. Leave us a comment and don't forget to use those voting buttons for Thrust or Tiller. In our next vlog, we'll be heading back up the Foxton Locks. So we hope you join us next time on yet another canal adventure. Bye!